U.S. election polls. Kamala Harris takes center stage. Hey folks, today we're going to talk about the latest political developments in the U.S. Oh boy, what a whirlwind it's been. Let's dive right in. As you know, Joe Biden dropped out of the presidential race, and now Kamala Harris has stepped onto the stage. But former prosecutor Kamala has already rolled up her sleeves to challenge Trump. Harris held her first campaign rally in Wisconsin. And wow, what a speech. Talking about her former profession, she said, I know the type like Trump very well. When speaking about her days as a prosecutor, she dropped the singer. I've investigated all kinds of perpetrators. Perverts who harassed women, fraudsters who robbed their clients, swindlers who broke the rules for their own gain. So when I say I know the type like Donald Trump, believe me. So what do the polls say? According to the Reuters Ipsos National Poll, Harris is leading Trump by two points. Plus, Harris is breaking records in fundraising. She raised $100 million in just 36 hours. Can you believe it? The leading figures of the Democratic Party are also standing behind Harris. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries have announced their support for Harris. Even Hollywood's George Clooney is backing Harris. But wait, there's more. Former President Barack Obama is also expected to announce his support for Harris soon. Word on the street is that Obama and Harris have been in frequent contact these past few days. Harris's campaign team isn't sitting idle either. Campaign chair Jen O'Malley Dillon made a statement outlining Harris's path to victory. According to this, Harris has three major advantages. One, her strong support among black, Hispanic, and young voters. Two, an opportunity to expand Democrats' growing advantage among college-educated voters. Three, her appeal to undecided voters. Let's look at some numbers. She's 54 points ahead of Trump among black voters, 25 points ahead among young voters, 21 points among women voters, and 30 points ahead among Asian American and Pacific Islander voters. Her net favorability is 19 points higher than Trump's among white college-educated voters. She's 18 points ahead of Trump among voters 65 and older. Now, what's the situation in Trump's camp? It looks like Trump has his work cut out for him. From the aftermath of losing the 2020 election to federal charges and felony convictions, he's in quite a pickle. There was even an assassination attempt at a rally in Pennsylvania recently. A 20-year-old man opened fire on Trump, the bullet grazed his ear, and a bystander lost their life. After this incident, everyone called for toning down the political rhetoric, but Trump has already returned to his old style. Lastly, there are some interesting results from the NPR slash PBS News slash Marist poll. 50% of black voters say they're more likely to vote now that Biden has stepped aside. 41% of Americans think Biden's decision increases the Democrats' chances. Harris has the highest favorability rating of 61% among black voters. Trump's highest favorability ratings are 73% among white evangelical Christians and 62% among men without college degrees. There you have it, folks. The latest developments in U.S. politics. What do you think? What do you think will happen in the elections? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Take care.